about 9.30 here in Colorado tonight. I just wanted to come and do a quick video. Uh, just got a message posted on my Facebook page from Byron Searle. And he has a vision that he would like to share. Uh, I don't even think it's posted in his blog yet, but uh, I will put... Uh, so you have to look for it in his blog probably tomorrow. He'll probably post it there. Uh, but I will go ahead and read it from my notes here that I just copied. Um, we have a lot of things going on. We got to just keep watching and praying. I will also post some other messages in the description box. Uh, probably a few news things in the description box. And also uh, some messages coming from... Um, uh, let me see, Ladder Rain 333 and some other people uh, in the description box uh, that's kind of relating to this message or this vision. Uh, we got to be watching and praying. There's just so much going on. So as I had a dream myself the, this week about the aliens and the uh, fallen angels all around. So we're going to have a lot of different things occurring. So we have to just keep our eyes on the Lord, keep our eyes on the Father, because all these things coming around us going to be coming, and we have to make sure that our sins don't find us out. So we just have to keep close to Him. Tomorrow, hopefully, I will do a video on faith. I'm going to continue talking on faith the rest of the month and into uh, May, hopefully, because we got to be really uh, stand geared up in faith, walking in faith, living in faith, and understanding that the days we are living in. So uh, let me go on over here. On the screen here, just a picture of a sun. Uh, made me think about the sun. And I also had this one here. Uh, ball of fire. Ball of fire is the message. So let me go here and read from Byron Searle. Ah, uh, Byron Searle, Vision and Word. 424-2019, Great Ball of Fire. Matthew 24, 37-39. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they was eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the, into the ark, and knew not until the flood came, and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. The following word and vision from the Lord were given to me tonight. Do you hear that? He said he had this tonight, people. Tonight during my time in prayer. The Lord spoke to me, my son, I will show you what is to come very soon. As soon as he spoke those words to me, I was instantly above the earth, far enough out into space to be able to have a view of the entire earth. It was so awesome. Such a sight to behold. Such a sight to behold to be able to look upon this beautiful planet of ours that seemed to just hang on nothing, uh, suspended there in the blackness of space. I next turned and saw the sun, and even though I looked right at it, it did not hurt my eyes. The Lord was with me, behind me, and slightly to my right. He then spoke to me and said that he wanted to show me a great fireball, that will strike the earth very soon. He said that no one will see it coming, not the scientists or the astronomers. I asked him, how will they not see it as they have satellites and telescopes in space that are looking for anything that will collide with the earth? I heard him say, look and see. As I was looking at the earth and watching it slowly rotate, I could make out the Atlantic Ocean. I could make out the Atlantic Ocean. I saw the Iberian Peninsula, Spain and Portugal, and the African coast. As the earth rotated, I could see the east coast of North America, Mexico, Central and South America. The next thing I saw startled me. The earth brought my attention to a point in space that was not too far outside of the earth's atmosphere. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, there appeared a rip, a tear in the fabric of space that opened up and a bright light appeared. And then the tear closed back up, the tear closed back up as quickly as it had opened. As my, as my eyes again focused on the earth, I saw a giant black brownish rock 
tumbling and being propelled towards the earth at high speed. <clears throat> Excuse me. This rock had come out of the tear, the tear, this rock had come out of the tear that had opened in space. One minute, nothing, just peaceful and calm and quiet and serene earth. The next minute, a giant rock appeared out of nowhere. As this rock entered the atmosphere, I saw it begin to heat up and start to burn from the friction. I was so aghast by what I was seeing as I watched this in awe, but not knowing if it would hit the earth or burn up. At this time, while this was taking place, I was able to see that it was dark on the East Coast. But I did not know what time it actually was. The Lord then spoke to me and said, This is that which has been foretold from the beginning of time. I have had a day and a time chosen, and my prophets have warned about it. I continued watching it as, as it burned hotter and hotter, and then it struck into the ocean. It looked it looked a hundred nuclear explosions in one. Oh my goodness, people. The whole earth shook and trembled violently with the force of the impact. It was so great that the plume of stream, water, and fire reached far, far into the atmosphere, while on earth the place where it struck looked like a boiling lake of mass of lava. From where I was, I from where I was, still in outer space above the earth, it appeared to have struck in the ocean, somewhere north of Puerto Rico and east of South Carolina. And that's amazing that he said that, Puerto Rico, because another uh, messenger I know about, and I can't call his name right now, uh, Spanish, oh, I can't call his name right now. He talked about the same thing happening. Uh, 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 it would hit Puerto Rico. So that's very interesting, very, a confirmation, actually. And I have to uh, try to look his name up because I don't know it right now out of my mind. Uh, but it's funny you mentioned that. Um, it appeared to have struck in the ocean somewhere north of Puerto Rico and east of South Carolina. It was very difficult to tell the distance as I had nothing to compare to. But it, but, but it, I would estimate it to be somewhere around 500 miles more or less off shore of the east coast. Then suddenly I was black, back on earth. From where I was standing which was on the east coast, somewhere around the South Carolina area, I could feel the superheated air that was caused by the blast. It was then that I saw a wall of fire about 100 feet high coming towards me. Oh my God, people. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can imagine that. Coming towards me. It was bawling and burning and scorching everything in sight. I asked the Lord how far will the wall of fire go inland? And he said, many, many miles. He said, I have warned that I am a consuming fire. This is that fire. The fire was moving at such a high speed that it seemed almost as though it was being pushed by something as it sped past me very quickly. I then heard a sound so loud, I can only say it sounded like hundreds of mighty waterfalls all together. Although I could hear this, I did not see anything at that time as it was dark, except for the only light that came from the burning trees and the telephone pulses, poles and other structures. For the entire time since the strike, the earth has been shaken, sometimes very large shakes and other times smaller shakes, but the shaking was continuous and nonstop. I don't know how much time had passed since it struck, but I could begin to see the sky lighten up just ever so slightly, like pre-dawn hours. The waterfall noise was increasingly becoming louder and louder. The Lord told me to turn around again towards the sea as I had my back turned to it while I was watching the fire traveling past me inland. I turned back to the sea and then I saw it. It was an unbelievable high massive wall of water. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. From where I stood inland from the shore, this wall of water appeared to be hundreds of even thousands of feet tall. The height was difficult to tell. As I was on the ground, seeing it coming towards me, I just seemed so small and this wave was so enormous. 
at that instance before it reached me, the Lord took us back up in the air and over a city over the East Coast. I don't know which city, just that it was somewhere along the coastline. I watched the wave come in and totally and completely cover the entire city. Since I was up above, I could see edge the fire now again and how far it had gone inland. It looked like it had stopped somewhere around the mountains. The wall of water appeared to hit the entire east coast of America, and everything along the coast was just completely and utterly gone. I looked back out towards the ocean where it had struck, and all I saw was looked like a glowing ocean of bright yellow orange lava. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. All of the islands were gone as they were totally covered with water. Most of the East Coast was also gone and underwater now. Then the Lord spoke, My son, this is what will be very soon. I have said to be ready and to have your house in order. Many will stand before me when this judgment strikes. The big rock will come from the throne of God to begin the end of time. This is, this is but one of many that will strike the earth. My children think they will be gone before this happens, but I will shake them awake and many will wake up. The greatest harvest will come out of this. Then I will bring my children home before the wrath falls on earth. I love you, my children. Repent now. Have your house in order for this rock is hidden until it strikes. Amen, Messiah Jesus. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, people. What a horrific vision. And I'm telling you that, man, I will go and look him up and post it in the description box. I can't call his name right now, but he had the same identical uh, vision about this being in the Puerto Rico. And I can't call his name, but I'm going to put it in the description box and uh, look it up for you guys. And I will put some other messengers in the box as well. That is amazing to me. Amazing, uh, 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 also, Byron. Also confirms Tim McKay's wife's understanding. Exactly. Okay. Oh, wow. And my husband just said, Tim McKide wife uh, had, exact had the exact same vision. So a it's a confirmation. And uh, and I'm telling you, people, we need to be getting ready, get ready, get ready. Yes, and yes, indeed. And yes, indeed. I believe it. I believe it. So I will put some things in the description box. Please go and look at them. OK, I cannot remember his name. I, I know him. He he has a lot of uh, reports of the same vision. Uh, Puerto Rico vision on the tsunami coming um, on uh, Prophecy Club. I know that's where I first heard him at. So uh, so I will go ahead and do that now, people. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you again on another video, okay? You have a wonderful and blessed night. Shalom, shalom. Bye-bye.